We are designed by God for socializing, for associating, for fraternizing, for mingling, for participating, not for self-isolating or social distancing. Handshaking, hugs, and touching, it's, it's almost anathema. We are relational beings. One of the most important parts of our human existence is the need for physical touch. There are scientifically proven benefits of touch. It results in mental and physical health. Physical touch increases levels of two neurotransmitters that help regulate our mood as well as our, help our bodies reduce social anxiety and stress. Physical touch also boosts our immune system and lowers our blood pressure. Hugs and hand holding can increase our happiness and longevity. Touch inspires positive thinking and expands trust. So clearly it is not God's will that we be deprived of this essential human need. Many of Jesus' miracles involve touching. When he healed the sick, not only did he speak, but he reached out and he touched even those classified as untouchable. In Luke 5, verses 12 through 16, Jesus reached out and touched the leper, and instantly the sores were healed and his skin became smooth. According to the account in Mark 5, verses 21 through 43, when Jairus' 12-year-old daughter died, Jesus went to her and he tenderly held her hand in his and he said to her in Aramaic, little girl, wake up from the sleep of death. You see, Jesus is tactile. He demonstrated the benefit and necessity of touch. Many who are isolated today are deprived of the human touch. The elderly, those who are single, widows, widowers, those who live alone, and even some of our young children are experiencing social deprivation. These precious souls are feeling the sting of isolation, which can result in depression and loneliness. Well, our Lord Jesus wants to pandemic-proof our lives with his glorious and precious presence. In his presence is fullness of joy. Jesus longs to make his touch known to you. Psalm 63 tells us that God's love is better than life. It is better than all the things this life can offer. Jesus is our satisfaction. Dr. Brian Simmons expresses in his devotional the divine romance, the desire of God's heart. He wrote, the same hands that hold the universe cradles you. His touch is undeniable. With compassion, he reaches for you and he draws you near. When Jesus comes close, everything changes. So take hold of the unchangeable one. Embrace the oneness we have in him. Christ incarnate in you, Christ incarnate in me is enough. Nothing else is constant.